we have a very high rate of major limb amputations, so below knee and above knee amputations for our population. And unfortunately, we don't really have modern endovascular techniques. At the moment in Barbados, anyone with the vascular lower limb problems in particular runs the risk of losing that limb. And these are people who are in their you know, 50s and 60s, they're not old. There is inequity in this world, you know, that the, the, there is in, in multiple areas, but also in health. You know, healthcare is part of human rights. Um, and in many areas, there is, it's underserved. And sometimes it's because the resources are not there, the infrastructure is not there, but sometimes, like in this case, it was simply about training somebody. I'd be lying if I said I always wanted to be a doctor. I wanted to be a teacher. I wanted to be a hotel manager. I wanted to be all sorts of different things. And then um, I think when I was doing sciences, I recognized I wanted to do something in medicine. And then the uh, University of the West Indies is a university throughout the Caribbean. I went to medical school in Trinidad and then did my clinical years back home in Barbados. And then and I, and I really loved surgery during my internship. And then when I graduated general surgery back home in 2017, uh, that's when the government really looks at future planning and sees where are the holes for the future of the Barbadian public. And one of the ones that came up was vascular surgery and really for limb salvage. We have a very high rate of major limb amputations, so below knee and above knee amputations for our population. Um, it's actually comparable to the indigenous population here in Australia. When uh, Nina came aboard, really fitting well with the team, um, you know, always demonstrating our, our own Northern Health um, values as if she was already one of our employees. What normal trainees would learn in four or five years, she's learnt it in two years. Uh, you know, we developed a sort of a training program and a um, assessment program and, you know, she, she, she clearly exceeds the level. You know, she's helped to build a standard now that we will try and maintain in our junior staff and um, so in, in that sense her legacy will stay on. She's also uh, become an integral part of the vascular team and the health service. Genuine, kind. Um, her knowledge was amazing, like she, she fit into our team, the girls love her, um, they, they feel very blessed that she was on our ward, she puts her patients above anything. You can see that she really cares um, and she really enjoys the work she does um, and she humanises uh, humanises the patient um, and, and that's what I said, you know, she comes to me and talks about Mrs Jones, she doesn't come to me and talk about, you know, the NGO in Ward 13. So it, it's, it's really nice, yeah. But I hope that I will be able to really effectively help limb salvage. It won't happen overnight when I go back. I, have, I want to work with a unit and help build a unit of vascular endovascular surgery. Um, I want to help get you know, nursing staff on board and scrub teams on board. And really, the passion that I've built up here has been a momentum that I mean, you probably can't tell it, but I'm just, I'm really just bursting with all these ideas and all these dreams and all these things I've gotten from here, from Australia, and more particularly the vascular surgery unit. I just want to go back and be like, I've just learned all of this. I'm ready. Let, just let me loose in, a, in the best way possible. Um, and I just really hope that within a year that there'll be less major limb amputations and more limb salvage. And um, for me, that is the foundation of my experience with Australia and more and more particularly the Northern Hospital. I think uh, having trained an overseas uh, fellow from a you know, developing country uh, such as Barbados I think clearly elevates the level of Northern Health as, a, as, a, as an institution that you know, wants to promote health care and vascular services to developing countries. You know at the beginning this was an ex a kind of a venture we were dipping our feet into something that we did know not much about and now I think this has just reinforced how successful the program can be. We benefit from the culture uh, those trainees bring with them. They benefit by getting upskilling and so I think it's a win-win situation. And since then we've began this journey with other countries such as Fiji. Um, we, I visited there two weeks in, in 2019 and since then we have this great WhatsApp group where we're discussing cases um, almost on a day-to-day -day basis 
And, uh, and it's been great because it's created a small community. We're discussing cases and it's bringing patient benefits to patients over there and patients here. Yeah, the, the implications um, of this program are far reaching and um, we should uh, embrace it. And, and I mean, in the, and this is where I feel, I, I feel a lot of pride being part of Northern Health um, because of the way that the institution has supported the program and they've, you know, um, really bought into it wholeheartedly. Um, you know, people that I've met here know that I'm probably from a small island and have treated me with the utmost respect. Um, they've included me in everything that I could be included in and I have felt literally like a second home here. It has been, it's been wonderful. You know, she is going to basically make history in Barbados by being the first vascular surgeon in that country. She's going to have, you know, a dramatic impact on the quality of lives of numerous patients who currently do not have access to vascular uh, care at the level she can provide. And I think Northern Health can play a key role, having had the experience with Nina and now Fiji. Their further works along uh, with uh, the uh, more international community of surgeons to enable a more wide-reaching service. And I think Northern Health can lead this in Victoria and perhaps in Australia. Because I, I, I genuinely don't use the word family loosely. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been a dream come true, for sure. <laughs>